What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Crazy Pooh, back again. Long time no see, I know. Hope you're doing well and being safe. So for today's video, we are going to be comparing real 35mm Kodak Portrait 400 film with a Fujifilm Portrait 400 film recipe. If you don't know what a film recipe is, it's basically a combination of settings and Fujifilm cameras that are made to sort of emulate real film stocks. I'll get a bit more in-depth with film recipes later in the video, but for now we're gonna get straight into the photos. So my friend Rob and I went to this junkyard to do this little shootout. I brought two cameras with me, one 35mm SLR, the Minolta X700, and one digital camera, which was the Fujifilm X-T4. I had a 50mm f1.7 lens on the Minolta, and the Fujifilm 35mm f2 which I use because it's equivalent to a 50mm lens on a full-frame camera or a 35mm film camera. I was shooting with aperture priority for both cameras, just changing the aperture with every shot. I kept the Fujifilm X-C4 at 400 ISO, so I could try my best to match what the Minolta was doing. So yeah, let's get into the photos and just a quick tip if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to help your boy out by hitting that button. So yeah, here is the shootout. Uno. All right, we're ready. I just realized I wasn't even looking at the meter. The first two. Not with the fooge. He's leaving. Oh! This is number two. Where are these guys even coming from? No, I'll just take it. These white ass weeds.
You want to see the photos? Oh yeah. We still got about like maybe eight more shots on the roll, but uh, we're both getting ate up by crazy mosquitoes. So I'll just finish the roll, doing something else, and see you guys in a bit. Woo! So that was it for that day. That probably was the most mosquito bites I've had in my whole life. I did finish the roll of Portrait 400 a couple days later. I was just walking around my apartment taking some photos. We'll get to those photos in a bit. Right now, I'll just go a little more in depth of Fujifilm film recipes. So one of the main selling points for Fujifilm digital cameras are their film simulations. These are sort of color profiles that you can apply to JPEGs within the camera. A lot of them are based off of real Fujifilm film stocks such as Provia, Velvia, Asia. And so one day I was browsing the Fuji X subreddit just going through people's photos, seeing what film simulations they shoot in. And a word I kept seeing pop up was recipe. People kept asking, what recipe did you use for this photo? So I did a little more research and I found this website called Fuji X Weekly, which is the blog of this guy. I think his name is Richie. And it's pretty much the home for all of these Fujifilm film recipes. They have recipes for Porch 400, Ektar 100, tri 400, even Kodachrome, which is a film you can't even get your hands on anymore. He's been making these recipes for quite a while. So if you're worried that your camera isn't supported by this recipe, he probably has a version out there for your Fujifilm camera. So basically you go into the menu in your Fujifilm camera and you go down to the custom settings. You can set seven different custom settings. Within each custom setting, you can change a bunch of parameters for the photo, like the film sim, the white balance, highlights and shadows, to save you some time, I'll just put up the Portrait 400 film recipe settings on the screen right now. But go ahead and go on to fujixweekly.com, see what other recipes you might want to try. There's a good mix of color and black and white recipes on there. The cool thing is these recipes aren't a strict rule that you have to follow. There's a setting in the recipe that you might want to change. You can totally just change it and make the recipe your own can go on Reddit or Instagram, share your recipe with others. Yeah, totally just experiment and get crazy with it. If you have your own film recipe that you like to use, feel free to drop it in the comments down below and I'll try it out. Now in regards to the film recipe against the real thing, I think it gets pretty close sometimes. You know, it really depends on the lighting conditions of the day. And of course, film handles highlights a bit better than digital cameras. I feel like this film recipe looks a lot like the real thing when it's around like golden hour when the light's a bit softer. I have tried using this film recipe in the midday when the sun is at like 200%. It can get a bit too saturated to look a lot like the real thing. But for the most part, I think it does a good job. It gets pretty close. Load this recipe into your camera, go out and shoot, post the photos up on your Instagram. Hashtag looks like film. But yeah, I did finish that roll of Portrait 400 a few days later. I just went out around my apartment complex and just finished the roll. So you can see those photos right now. That was basically it. Feel free to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this little shootout and if I should try it out with a different film stock. I actually have a roll of Trix 400 chilling in the fridge right now, waiting to be shot. So maybe I'll do another video shooting that against a Trix 400 film recipe. But yeah, that's it for now. Feel free to help your boy out with a like on this video. And if you aren't subscribed already, it would mean a lot if you hit that button. But yeah, until next time, stay safe and Shh.